All right, Gonzo. Austin, this is the black and gray showdown you guys have been waiting for. You ready? Yeah, man. Are you ready? Do this. Your six hour grudge match tattoo starts now. Perfect. I can't believe Austin called out black and gray. Hell yeah, man. Let's hop up here and start zapping, bro. If you don't do black and gray all the time on a daily basis, it's really hard to get these super smooth blends. And Gonzo, that's what he does every day. All right, man. Good to go? Yes, sir. Cool. I don't know what Austin's trying to prove, but this is a ballsy move. more what you do, I'm assuming. Yeah, man. What I'm doing today is this beautiful woman's face with a nice, harsh light source, and then adding a rugged skull texture morph into the back of it. Kind of like Beauty and the Beast all in one. Man, you might not know how to line, but you definitely know how to shade. I'm glad to hear what weaknesses of mine are, because that's how you get better. If they don't like my outlines, that's fine, because I don't want to give them to you anyway. So the only thing that they can say to me today is that it would have been nice to see a line from you, but amazing tattoo. All right, what are you doing over here? Big ass black and gray rose. Going simple, less things for me to up, less stuff for you guys to have to judge. All right. You know, I'm tattooing what I like to call an Austin rose. It's just a straight up illustrative rose. In my season, I was definitely perceived as probably one of the weakest tattooers in the house, but every boxer's got a strategy. Gotta put a little stank on this thing over here to make sure it looks good. Suicide mission, if you ask me. I'm not scared of Gonzo. Pressure makes diamonds, and I'm a hard mother. Don't underestimate me. All right, Matt and Katie, you got six hours to complete this grudge match tattoo. Lady and a cat. Katie, you ready? Hell yeah. Matt, you ready? Born ready. All right, let's tattoo. All right. Let's do this. Party time. It was up until 4.30 this morning drawing. Can't wait to make this. Here we go. Hey, Katie, try to remember to go up to the line today. I'll make a clean-ass tattoo. It's all that matters. You know, it really doesn't matter how clean her outline is. I could tattoo this thing blindfolded. <laughs> the design is just too good. You can't touch it. Hell yeah. Even though I lost the first round, I'm very comfortable today. I don't really do cats, but I definitely do lady faces. I do a lot of lady faces. Yes. I'm slaying the out of this tattoo right now. Pride goeth before the fall, Katie. You can say all you want, Matt, but my lines are better than yours. It's going to be a cat fight today. <laughs> It's a strange piece of art. And the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. This design is just too cool to lose. I want to show contrast between light and dark, feminine and masculine. The only thing that I regret about this tattoo is that it's not going on me. Did you illustrate your own reference, or is that a Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> no, I, I drew that. <laughs> da Vinci and Michelangelo and all those dudes entered into a lot of the style of how I draw. I love my drawing. I know it's gonna be a sick tattoo and I know they're gonna like it. I'm gonna kick my dogs out. Only in your dreams. Ooh, stop. Wow. Whoa, chill out. All right, guys, this is the power hour. You only have one more hour. What the hell is Austin thinking? If Austin's trying to beat Gonzo at his own game, then Austin should have come here with a design that was going to blow Gonzo's design out of the water. One went way simple, and one went crazy as <laughs> Gonzo's got no lines again, but he's super smooth. I understand that he's going for the, like, distressed, you know, skeleton face more, but to me, it just looks like she had a little issue here. Yeah, he's really he got... needs a better primer, oh you know? God. He's got to really punch different textures throughout it. Like, yes. this is That's a skull exactly that has a lot of texture, and this is a smooth yes. girl's face. Yes, I mean, who knows? Maybe Gonzo shits the bed. Austin's tattoo, it's looking pretty clean. I'm gonna beat you, man. <laughs> it was ever before it began. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. 
This grudge match tattoo is over. Bro, insane. Seriously. I can't even. That's freaking bananas. Beyond happy. Thank you very much, man. I'm a hugger, bro. All right. As good of a tattoo as you did, man, this is my wheelhouse, and I put every spoke of that wheel in that tattoo. No matter what the judges say, I like that rose. But I feel like in a six-hour tattoo, man, you could have shown a lot more. If nothing else besides possibly crazy, it was definitely ballsy. Definitely got both of those, crazy and balls.